it's time to this is day two in creating a coffee cup so this is what you should have so far after completing the first tutorial I'm going to go back to object and I'm going to change it back to flat shade flat so I can see the geometry of my cup it's important that we all be in the same perspective so we're all looking at it the same way so before we even begin make sure you click on the green circle and it should say front orthographic if it doesn't say orthographic if it says perspective then you'll need to click on this little grid right here so it should look uniform the squares should all look the same size and flat and we're looking at the front so today you're gonna to be looking at some curves and we're gonna be creating a handle for our cup so we're gonna be adding two new objects today so go to add and here's our curves that we can add the first curve that we're gonna add is called a path if you click on path you see this orange line appear and we can click the move button to go ahead and grab that red arrow that x-axis arrow and slide it along the x-axis because we're going to be creating our curve for our handle right here okay now I'm going to go into edit mode and you'll notice that your path has five little orange circles on it those are called nodes click on the node and make sure that you have the move button turned on and you're going to use these arrows to move the nodes and create a curve that looks like a handle so click on the second node and move it up with your blue arrow click on the third node move it in with your red arrow click on your fourth node move it down with blue and move it in with red click on the fourth node the fifth node rather down with the blue and push it in with the red up with the blue and you should have something that looks like a handle okay so you can kind of move these around until you feel like yep that looks like a handle and then you go back to object mode object mode okay so it looks pretty pretty good it's just the shape that we need now we're gonna add a new object it's going to be another curve and it's going to be a circle use the red arrow to move that circle along the x-axis it looks flat looks like a line it looks just like the path looked but if you orbit you'll see that it's actually a circle we need to scale that cir circle so press S on your keyboard and point two we're going to scale it to 20% and what we're going to do is we're going to apply this circle shape to this handle. So click on the handle and we're going to spend some time over here in our properties with this green little button. This is the object data button. And since we clicked on a path, which is a curve, it looks like a curve here. Click on geometry and go down to the bevel section. And in this black box for object, click it and you'll see, hey, there's your circle. Click on your circle and the magic happens. The circle has been applied to your path. Now, if you don't like the way it looks, if you feel like it's too fat or too skinny, you can click on your circle again and you can scale. S to scale. I can make it skinnier. I can make it fatter, skinnier. That looks pretty good to me. You can also click on your handle and go back into edit mode to change the shape if you want to. Click on the node, you can pull it in, out, move it up, down, give yourself a, a custom handle. Okay, you don't want it to be sticking inside the cup. You won't be able to use it if it's sticking inside the cup. It needs to be outside of the cup for tomorrow's activity where we connect them together. So I'm going to back that off a little bit. I'll raise this one up a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with the shape of my handle. So in object mode, there's a couple more things we need to do. If we look at our cup, if we zoom in, you'll see that the shape of the handle is round. That's kind of hard to work with 
when we do coffee cups, when we do anything as far as selecting vertices, edges, and faces. So click on the circle again and go down in the object data button to where it says active spline. And we're going to change the resolution to 1. I'm going to click on this arrow until it goes down to 1. And you'll see now it's kind of changed the shape of the circle to a square. And the shape of our handle now has edges that we can work with. We're not done yet. So this is still a path. It's a curve. We can't really model with curves. We need to convert it into a mesh that we can work with. So click on the handle, go to Object, and Convert. We're going to convert it to a mesh from a curve. And if we look at it now in Edit Mode, you can see all the geometry, because it is now a mesh object that we can click on. I want to be able to use all of these. So if I hold Shift and click all of these, I can select them all. Now I can click on any vertex, any edge, or any face that I want to work with. But you'll notice in edit mode, I can't click on my coffee cup. That's because these are two separate objects. So we need to go back to object mode and combine them. We need to join them together. So hold shift and click on your coffee cup and make sure they're both orange. Go to object and let's join them together. Boop. Now if you go to edit mode, you can see that we can click on anything. And we can edit these two things together. This is day two. If you get to this point, you're in good shape. We'll be connecting this handle to this cup tomorrow.